Hi, this is Carl, and welcome to the second episode of World of Custom Statues. I have a lot of custom statues that I will be showing off to you today, so sit back and enjoy. First, we have some prototype photos of this classic Iron Man by Alpha 3 Studios. This is a museum pose statue and it has an arc reactor base that lights up, which is really cool. Next, we have few updates from my favorite custom studio. I really love this studio and have three pre-orders with them. They always know what they are doing with the pieces they release. So to start, we have this main diorama that just went on pre-order and now is currently sold out. This is from the Arkham Batman game. Bane is being accompanied by a very sexy Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn riding on his shoulders. This is also the fourth DC villain the studio has released. Next, we have these old renders of Cable before the studio took on the project. The base will be changed to a sentinel hand most probably, and a lot more touches that represents the studio's image. They also added another head which is based from the MCU. We also have this Carnage life-size bust coming. Gladiator is also coming to this studio with the rest of the Annihilators. Gladiator will come in his black suit and the traditional blue and red like Superman. P.O. coming very soon. Their Hulk vs. the Venom diorama just landed in the US as well. This is long sold out, so enjoy the photos. Lastly, a teaser for their Defenders line. Here is Iron Fist. This is also based on old renders and the studio will still modify this based on their standards. Next, we have a Spider-Man from this custom studio. This Spider-Man just got printed and here are some of the photos. Spider-Man will come in one piece, no switch out, which means no sims. We also have some Magneto update by Hades Studio. I have this on pre-order and I'm very excited to receive it. So here are some paint updates. Next, we have some updates from MFA Collectibles. First, this Superboy just went on pre-order. Superboy is sitting on some rocks on the moon and is taking a selfie. Scope is really nice. It has a lot of textures and details. And from the first episode, I did mention that they were gathering interest on which of the 5 DC characters were to be made first. So now we have the winner, and it is Red Tornado. Lastly, here's another teaser for their Shogun Magneto. Next, we have a very very good looking Batman piece from a custom studio. This piece sold out very fast. I love the base which comes with a lot of items that represents Batman's life. Next, we have some Magneto updates from another studio. This will go out on pre-order very soon. Next, from Razor Studio, we have this very sexy Psylocke. It sold out very fast as well. I love this Psylocke and it looks very Asian. Next, we have some updates for the Silver Surfer by Reborn Studio. 
so it just got printed and will soon get painted and is currently looking really good and promising. Next from Sidekick Studio, we have some paint updates for this Thoron throne piece. They are also making an Asgardian line. They also just released a Loki on throne and will be making an Odin on throne pretty soon. Next, from this custom studio, we have some print updates for their Doctor Doom piece. Enjoy the details of Doom's mask. And here are some close-up photos for their Arsenal Magneto. The X group also released some photos of their screen prototype, probably not the final color. This is also open for pre-order if any of you are interested. Some of their current pieces are also ready to ship out. First is this Agent Venom. Next is this pawn. They are also gathering some ideas on how they will be doing their Spider-Man line. Here are some photos of the projects they want to make. Lastly, we have some updates from Cyan Art or Cyan Art. Their Bastila from their Star Wars line just got printed. Here are some photos. Next, we have some sculpting update for their Mandalorian. And another sculpting update for the Revan 2.0, or maybe 3.0. Not sure if the change of color will be considered 2.0. Next, we have this Art of Spider-Man that Siren Art will be producing in legendary scale. Meaning it's one half scale. And lastly, Cyan Art has parted with Kryptonic X to produce the Spider Man diorama with most of Spider Man's villain as the base. So that's it for this week's update. Tune in next week for more updates. Also, I might make the segment twice a week if there's a lot of updates midweek. Don't wanna make the episode too long. What do you guys think of that? Anyway, leave your comments below and tell me if you are eyeing some of the pieces mentioned or pre-ordered some of the pieces that went out on pre-order. Thank you for watching and see you again next week. Subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this.